So news just coming in. Global embarrassment for Pakistan with its so-called ally. America has also called them out with President Joseph Biden terming Pakistan one of the most dangerous nations in the world, adding its nuclear weapons war without cohesion. Our executive editor Gaurav Savant is with us for more details on that story. So this is the same country Gaurav that a few weeks ago was happy to provide F-16s to Pakistan and now they're saying that this country is a real threat. Neha, you're absolutely right. Uh, U.S. President Joe Biden has called Pakistan one of the biggest threats to the world, especially at a time when they have nuclear weapons and no cohesion in the country. While this is a statement of fact, there is a huge divide between the army and the leadership, the political leadership in the country. Terrorists are running loose in that country. The fact also remains, as you rightly pointed out, Sneha, that America not only provided $450 million worth of F-16 upgrades and spares to Pakistan, bringing them up to speed with the latest. Uh, what America also did was give a red carpet treatment to Pakistan's Army Chief uh, General Kamar Javed Bajwa during his recent visit. So much so that U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary Austin Lloyd came out to receive him. Uh, he was given a ceremonial guard of honor uh, and uh, a number of weapons and systems uh, Pakistan is looking at. Uh, well, uh, America is also helping Pakistan get out of the Financial Action Task Force gray list. So there is, there is a huge dichotomy uh, in what the U.S. says and what the U.S. does on ground. This really speaks, like you said, Gaurav, of the duplicity when it comes to America and the policies vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan, providing F-16s, not just that, providing regular funding, also assistance with defense equipment from time to time, not just F-16s, isn't it? Absolutely right. Uh, and this is a cause for concern as far as the Indians are concerned. Um, the, you'd recall uh, when uh, Donald Trump was the president of the United States of America, uh, he had said that $33 billion worth of military aid given to Pakistan had actually gone to fund terror and that Pakistan was actually responsible for the failure of the American forces in, in Afghanistan. And that's a statement of fact. Uh, you know, more than 5,000 American soldiers, contractors have been killed and injured in Afghanistan. And uh, the fact that America had to vacate Afghanistan was because of Pakistan's double speak. Pakistan continued to shelter the Haqqani network, the same Haqqani network that in, an, in some instances has now been hostile to Pakistan army. Uh, Pakistan has taken no action against terrorists and yet uh, Pakistan is being incentivized uh, with this $450 million worth of uh, FMS uh, route uh, for upgrade of F-16 fighter jets. Uh, spares being given to them and also, uh, you know, the red carpet uh, that's being rolled out to Pakistan Army Chief, which is completely uncalled for, for a state sponsor of terror, uh, Sneha. Gaurav, I'm just going to come back to you in a moment from now because I want to talk to you a little about the FATF grey list as well. And in what context was this statement really made? Uh, bringing in uh, Major General G.D. Bakshi in this conversation, a very good afternoon. I want to begin by asking you, Major General G.D. Bakshi, whether you see this as double speak on the part of America, but now they say that Pakistan is actually one of the most dangerous weapons when it comes to nuclear cohesion, then why are they providing them with weapons to begin with? Absolutely. This is not only double speak, this is hypocrisy of the highest order. Just a few days back, they had announced that they are giving a package for upgrading Pakistan's F-16 fighters, which incidentally they use for nuclear delivery of nuclear weapons. And uh, they have used it against India. You remember the episode of Abhinandan, where immediately after the Balakot strike, Pakistan had used the F-16 to launch a counter-attack. Yes. And they were armed with the... Aram missiles, beyond visual range missiles, which when we, they got into an engagement with our big 21, it's an amazing feat that Abhinandan managed to shoot down one before he was shot down by the BVR. And this is all courtesy the American friends. And now they say that America is the most dangerous state. I think make up your mind. If mm. it is the most dangerous state, do you have to make it even more dangerous by upgrading its F-16? A, you know, which are its most lethal attack weapons, which it will use for delivery of nuclear weapons. 
Abhi, this is amazing. The FATF has greylisted Pakistan for its support to terror. Every single act of terror that takes place anywhere around the globe can be traced back to Pakistan. Yes, yet, you know, yes I, I think you said that correctly, uh, Major General Bakshi. You know, when you say that this is, I mean, make up your mind. Uh, you say on one hand, Geeta, that uh, this is the most dangerous country. Then why are you arming a dangerous country is a simple question that the American president must answer, isn't it? Well, absolutely. The fact that the U.S. has come out and said that Pakistan is uh, one of the most dangerous countries when it comes to uh, nuclear weapons because they do not have a cohesive uh, nuclear policy is the reason why uh, we've not just seen this president but also uh, the leadership in the past raise concerns with regards to instability in Pakistan. But it is uh, to a certain extent double speak. I'd say to a certain extent because uh, given the situation in Afghanistan, they need Pakistan more today than ever before. And it's the reason why they continue to militarily support Pakistan. But also put it in context. Uh, the context over here uh, was the speech in a speech where he was talking about uh, Chinese leadership and how China is trying to get close to Russia, uh, Pakistan and India. And that uh, they had never imagined China trying to realign its uh, policies with regards to Russia, with regards to Pakistan, and with regards to India. And in that, saying that Pakistan is indeed unstable. Now, nuclear powers coming together and China having a hold over these countries is a concern for America more than anything else. And in that context, he was saying that if uh, uh, an unstable uh, country without a cohesive nuclear policy sides with uh, China, then that would not just be a concern for America, but for the world. Thank you for the moment. Our Foreign Affairs Editor Geeta Mohan, our Managing Editor Gaurav Savant and Major General G.D. Bakshi for talking about the duplicity on the part of America when it comes to Pakistan.